Hi, I'm Liz from Liz Bam Beads and I'm very pleased to be here at the Shropshire Virtual Show today. I'm in the craft tent and I'll be showing you how I make my glass beads using an ancient technique known as lamp working. So let's get right to it. Okay, so here we are all set up at the desk. We've got all our glass rods here in all different colours from clear to blue to red, yellow, green, whatever colour you want to think of. This is my torch and I've got some bead separator here which I'll be using in a minute and I've got my metal rods. So I'll be building my bead onto this metal rod and I'll do that by lighting up the torch. This is a propane and oxygen flame. So I'm just gonna add in the oxygen now. And then you just want to sort it out so there's just the right amount of heat. A little bit more. There we go. So I get my bead separator and I get my little metal rod here known as a mandrel. And I'm using this bead separator or bead release just as a protective barrier between the metal and the glass. If it wasn't there then the glass would permanently stick to the metal. But with it, once everything is cooled down, I can just plunge that into some water and it will flake away and the glass bead should easily slide off the metal rod. So I'm just going to heat it through and just make sure it's nice and dry. And I'm going to grab this nice aqua coloured glass rod. I'm going to gently heat it up. If you heat glass too quickly, it will likely shatter and spit. So I'm just gently bobbing it in and out of the flame until there's a nice red glow to it. And I'm keeping my metal rod nice and warm as the hot glass will only stick to hot metal. So once you've got a nice little molten blob there, you just drop it onto the mandrel and turn the metal rod away from you and allow the glass to just flow onto itself there. So I'm just winding it round nice and slowly. And I just keep going until I'm happy with the amount for what I'm making. So that will probably do it. So to break it away I just gently pull up and the flame cuts through the glass. So now I just want to gently heat the glass and melt it down. And the glass naturally wants to go into a nice little round blob. So as long as I keep turning it nice and evenly, get a nice even heat distribution, it should just go into a nice little round blob. If you've got any more on one side than the other, then you can just stop with it at the top and allow it to drop down, and gravity will drag it down and you get a nice even turn. Let's just keep going. Okay. You can always go back into the flame, reheat it and allow it to move around a little bit more if you're not happy with the shape. You want to keep it always moving, always rotating, otherwise you get a lopsided bead. So I'm just going to heat it through a little bit more. Once you're happy with the shape, you can start decorating it. So, I'm going to take a thinner rod of glass here, known as a stringer. And I'm just going to keep my bead nice and warm. If I let it get too cold, it will shatter when I go back into the heat. So I just need to flush it through the flame every so often. So I gently melt the tip of this little stringer here. And then I dot it down onto my bead. I bounce back up into the flame, gently pulling away, and the flame cuts through it. And that's one little dot on the bead there. So I'm just going to do a nice little random pattern on here. So 
touch down, pull up, cut three, touch down, up, cut, down, up, cut, down, up, cut. Let's keep going. And the size of the dots depends on how much glass you've melted, how firmly you touch it to the bead. So you can get very small dots or you can get very large dots. And you can always go back and add more glass if you want to. So I have a nice little random design there. And as you can see, the little dots are all quite bumpy there. So I could leave it like that. Some people like bumpy dots, some people like flat dots. So I'm just going to heat it through, and as I heat it, the dots will gently flatten out. So you're just melting the glass down, and those dots are just gently sinking into the surface of the bead. So you want to do this as evenly as possible. you're happy with it, come out of the flame. And there you have a little dotty bead. Now you can go on for as long as you like, adding more dots, moving the dots around, adding more layers of glass. You can do whatever you want. And because of the materials that are used in making the different colours of the glass, you sometimes get chemical reactions within the designs. So you use gold and silver and cobalt and copper and other minerals to colour the glass. And it's always exciting to see how they react with one another. So, if you've enjoyed watching this video, please consider donating to the charities involved in this uh, weekend. Uh, you can just find the donate button on this website. And if you've enjoyed watching my making, then you can visit my website at www.lizbowdenbeads.com or you can visit my stall at number 212. And I'm offering 10% off my online sales this weekend. So, you can find the little code on my stall there. And if you've got any questions at all, you can always email me. The details are on my stall as well. So, thank you very much, and I hope you have a lovely weekend.